There's more coming and more to come. That ain't the last, there's more to come, baby. Looking for their first postseason burst since 2013. I was still in high school at that time. Obviously, the, the expectations for West Boca sky high this season, and it looks like they're they're you know they're they're living up to the expectations right now. What's what's been the mood around this this West Boca program over the past couple months, past couple weeks, and really the last couple days leading? Looking at these highlights, and I'm thinking that team's on a roll. I mean, they're running it. Yeah. Could they go deep in the playoffs? Yeah, look, they look great tonight. Yes, they and did. When you talk about the run game, that's primarily what they had to look yes. at because of the fact it was raining so much. It was yeah. hard to hold on to the ball. They look great with the offensive line, the yeah. push they're getting. And guess what? That running back, Mallory. Running and gunning, I think they've got a chance wow. to see how far they could go in the playoffs. Dude, they look so in sync with everything. Yeah, well, last year, West Boca went 6-4, and four, which to some people may not be amazing, but to West Boca, that's amazing because in the previous two seasons, West Boca only had one win. So to have six wins last year under new head coach Dylan Cox, that's incredible. And, and the students are really showing out because there is hype around the team. It is the opening round of the playoffs. It's Atlantic versus West Boca. We're going to play ball in them lines. You get what I'm telling you? Can you believe oh following this Friday night, either the 9-1 and Atlantic Eagles or the 8-2 and West Boca Bulls will be done for the year? It's not fair, but it's football. Playoff football to be exact. <laughs> Hey, you see a 19-1 connection. 30 seconds left. Let's go, baby. Atlanta said, not today. Not today, West Boca. 2016, 30 seconds left. What they doing? They what they doing? What they doing? They out. What they talking about? I've never seen a touchdown like this. This is what makes sports so good. You get the unexpected. This was the West Boca miracle. I mean, it feels amazing, you know. I did it against my home team, too. You know, it just feels amazing. I told our boys, just believe. So just believe we've been practicing situations all year, and our kids came through in the clutch, and it's just like, it's a credit for them just to keep playing until the final whistle. against Coconut Creek the next week. Things were shaping up to be the same. But a West Boca miracle, part two, fell just short. At the end of the day, this is the beginning. You know, we went the first two years playing with a bunch of freshmen and sophomores right now. All of a sudden, now we're going to be the older guys. And I told the kids, you know, these, uh, we got it. We got this window right here to do something special. And we're just going to keep working and get ready for next year and, and, and just keep showing why we're one of the best teams and, and playing the best teams and beating the best teams. So, you know, games like this, unfortunately, sometimes you got to go through this and it's, it's tremendously valuable for the growth in the future mm -hmm. until when you play in big games like this. They are now. They are now. I promise you that. I've been saying it all year. They are now. I promise you we'll get our credit now. I don't know how many teams we got to keep beating, but we'll keep beating them to show why we're one of the best. <laughs>